Hello everyone, this is Two Children and today we will prepare our November bullet journal spread. I'm gonna use my Mr. Newton watercolor and my journal that I always use, but I'm not gonna paint directly on my journal. I'm gonna use this paper because of its color, first of all, because I wanna have whitish background instead of my very cappuccino color journal pages and i want to use some watercolor and i want to have some watercolor effect which i cannot really catch with on my journal pages they're not thick enough to hold the water and deal with it without damaging and they don't really reflect the nice watercolor effect that this page that i took from my sketchbook is able to do so when I tried to decide the theme for this month, I was thinking of pumpkins, which is super creative, I know, right? But when I tried to do some sketches, I couldn't manage to come up with any creative way of using pumpkin on my cal on my journal. So I started to look on Pinterest for some inspiration like everyone else. And I was checking some album photos to have some, I don't know, inspiration about anything to find something that I would like to draw and I found myself looking at very nice landscape photos from mountains and it reminds me of my childhood because when I first started painting around 14 years old I think I was doing oil paints a lot <laughs> yeah yeah I started with a, one of the most complicated media I don't know how come it happened but I was doing lots of landscapes with oil paint and I really like it and those times there were no internet because I, I'm a dinosaur <laughs> I wasn't able to find photos like reference photos online so we were going out with my mom and buying some postcards uh, with the landscape photos on and I was using it as the reference photo and I was doing all the paints of those postcards and it just reminded me of those time and I decided to do a landscape like all times I didn't feel like doing one and it's been really long and I actually never tried to do it with oil with watercolor so I'm a bit nervous how it's going to end up because there are some techniques to reflect the natural objects with the oil paint, but I don't know how to actually achieve those things with the watercolor, but I wanted to give it a try. So here I am painting a landscape. I quite like doing it. I don't know. It's just giving me this a bit romantic, a bit cozy feeling and the colors is just like, I love autumn colors. I don't like very shiny, very super colorful colors i like it more faded more instead of spring autumn colors are my thing so here's the palette that you are seeing the colors that i adore maybe it's too faded for you you can actually switch it and use whatever color you feel like but i really love it i'm while i'm painting i'm trying to discover what effect i can actually catch uh, with the watercolor and make it look okay but I'm trying to do my best. I can give you some tips that I'm not expert on, as you understand, but the tips that actually helping me is using more faded, more light color on the backgrounds, because when you look at a landscape, the objects are far, they are less, they have less contrast, they are less clear, they are more faded, so you can use the lighter colors on the background and the sharper and darker colors on the forward, like which on the objects that closer to you and the more contrast should apply on the closer objects. So it's going to give you a depth, sense of depth. And that's the only tip I have. No, actually I have a couple more tips. Try to use like similar colors on the um, entire painting. So it's going to look like one piece all together. Use the same green on a different tones, maybe mix it with a bit more yellow, a bit more orange. You can put a bit more brown in it and catch like different shades and different tones on it you can use more water or less water to ad adjust the tone also and try to use the, those colors on like mountains on the, on the trees on the background or on the bushes that uh, i'm just painting in front of the landscape so try to use similar colors and you can use the watercolor effect easily on this landscape to just combine those colors together, you know, they are not really sharp, sharp edges when you look at landscapes. Uh, just the object very close to you can have this contrast, can have this sharp edges, but the backgrounds mostly they are kind of fading in each other. They look in a beautiful harmony. I sound so romantic, I know, I love November. I had a habit actually, like every November I was watching Sweet November and I was crying, it was like a ritual for me. But I stopped doing it the last couple years because I don't wanna just cry <laughs> because that's always ending up crying when I watch this movie. But it's just so beautiful. Maybe this year I'm gonna rewatch, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But 
uh, that's why maybe because of this movie, maybe because of the all the leaves, all the colors around, a little rain arrives also. I always found this month super romantic and I quite like it. And the, I think the Halloween kind of make it interesting also. I'm like, we don't celebrate Halloween when I was a kid, but since on my adult life, I'm living abroad and every, th every year almost we are doing a Halloween party here and there. And it's quite nice. I quite like it. This year on the Halloween time, I will be unfortunately traveling. Not unfortunately, actually. Fortunately and unfortunately. So I won't be attending any Halloween party. I don't know if you guys have any Halloween plans. Let me know what you are going to wear what you are gonna be but I'm traveling to Bolivia and Chile after so end of this month and the beginning of next month actually like yeah okay I'm recording this video on October before I go to vacation middle of October actually so as I say end of this month and the beginning of the November I will be traveling which is a good start to a new month I think and after a friend of ours coming to visit us so she's gonna be with us for two weeks here in Rio and end of the month there are some nice parties that I'm looking forward to besides it I want to do some new uh, how can I say investments I think about my work but nothing sure yet so I will let you know when I know more but the month is only looking interesting to me what are your plans for november do you have any new beginnings new endings new plans or nothing new maybe just uh, casual things but the things that already giving you lots of pleasure let me know how your november looks like wherever you are i'm guessing that there are some people watching me from all around the world so we might have different seasons different weathers different habits different expectations from this month but it's always interesting for me to read those I use a couple of different brushes during this painting to catch different effects if you have uh, at least three different brushes one detail one maybe one round uh, simple one like number two three four whatever you feel like and maybe one flat cut to have this uh, reflection effect on the water or to do some pine trees or to do some bushes it can be useful because you can use like tip of your brush and have very little paint on it and just like touch it on your paper hold your brush on a like 90 degree and touch like tap on your paper like tick 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 to have nice bush effect that that's what i do here but you can actually try it on another paper first to see that which brush you have giving what effect and how to use it just change the angle change the amount of water you have change the technique that you are applying on a wall on a paper then it can surprise you even you don't have like fancy brushes it's okay you can still end up with nice things but you definitely need a detailed brushes to do this front branches i added here it should have a fine ending so you can have this uh, very tiny li fine lines here like as I did
I'm actually done with this painting. It looks beautiful. It actually makes me like, I don't know, it makes me feel nostalgic. It looks like a postcard that we used to buy. And I think in the end of the month, I'm just going to tear it apart and hang on, hang on my wall. I don't want it to stay in my journal and forget about it after a couple of months. It's really beautiful. I might even maybe post it to someone that I like. You can do the actually same thing. You can just paint this on a paper, maybe 200, 300 gram paper and put some lovely notes on the behind and send it to, to people you love as a, I don't know, Christmas card. It can be nice to do yours, I think. Anyway, on the right side of the page, I want to do a calendar, but I wanted to use a white paper to have more like matching kind of thing with the left side of the design. I write it down and I'm using my washi tape, which match with the general color to attach it there. And now I'm going to put the title of the November. I'm using my detailed brush to write it down and I'm writing it a bit like cursive kind of font to keep the romanticism going everywhere. <laughs> it's not looking so good. I didn't manage to have a nice, nice effect. So I'm using my gel pen to sharpen the edges and to fix this font a bit better. Okay, it's not my favorite, but I think it's just okay. And now I'm gonna glue my uh, drawing on this page. But the first, I wanna tear the edges apart to make it look a bit like older, a bit more nostalgic, I don't know how to say it, a bit more vintage. You can actually like split some coffee on it to have this old effect on it also. But this was enough for me, so I'm gonna stop there. But I didn't like what I did on the right side, so I'm removing this white one. I'm using another piece of paper and putting calendar on and glue it here and removing the washi tapes. I don't know, it looks better this way, I like it better. And here I come to the end of this page, so I can jump onto the next one. Here I'm gonna do a giant calendar of the month and I'm gonna put two sections on the side to write my like must do's, the things that I must do during November and the reminder section that to just to don't uh, get lost on the things that I'm dealing with at the same time and to remember things that can be job related, can be health related, can be just social life related. Anything that I need to remind myself is gonna be there. And I'm gonna use different kind of paper like I did last month. I quite like it to have different like collage and a different color of paper on the same page. How it looks is beautiful. And besides it, it's easier to divide the sections from each other. So I think I'm gonna go for it for a couple of next months too. But I start with preparing the calendar of the month. I'm using these huge boxes so I can go and note the things that I want to remind myself, the things that I'm gonna do. I can plan my day, I can plan my food, I can plan my work, I can plan anything inside actually. You can write down your homework, you can write down your school schedule that if you still studying or things about the work, like meetings you have, or the things that you wanna do, or if you are working out, you can put your working out, routine, whatever actually like going on in your life, you can use those boxes to write down the things inside, like tracking the tracking your days or planning your weeks ahead. Some people having this weekly, like weekly planning thing that I used to have, but I didn't really use it because I'm mostly confused which week I am. Like some things I start in the middle of the week and go through the other week. So it wasn't really, really helpful to me. So I'm like sticking to this spread, which actually quite working for me. And I'm adding a little design on the bottom side to, to keep the theme going inner part of the journal also. I'm not quite sure, you know, when I decided to go for a landscape, I knew that it's going to be hard to apply it in the inner side of the journal. But I say that I'm going to see while I'm doing, probably I will be inspired a bit more. But to be honest, I'm not quite inspired to apply it here. So I don't know what to do, but I'm going to do like little pine tree landscape here. Uh, I find it quite easy to draw pine trees. Even though I'm not super good at it, I catch the general shape, so I'm okay with it. After I finish the design with the pine trees that I'm not super happy with, I'm adding the dates of the days, and then I'm putting the titles of the side section that, as I told you, the top one is gonna be must do, and the bottom one is gonna be reminder. After that, I actually come to end of the designing 
this page. It's not horrible, it's not amazing, but it's not horrible. I'm okay with it. It's not disturbing me, so I can jump onto the next page that I'm gonna actually put my habit tracker, creative ideas, like targets, whatever the things that I need during this month. Every month that I'm changing the sections here depends on what's actually waiting for me on the month, but uh, I always have the habit tracker going. That's for sure. But the first, as you see that because of the amount of the water I used on the previous page, the bottom of the page is a bit wavy. It has a bit uh, strange texture. So I want to cover it with a piece of paper. Can actually help me to decorate this page, but I don't know how to decorate it. Like it could be mountains. It could be just a giant piece of bush. I couldn't decide even while I'm painting right now. I can't decide what I'm going to go for which is quite dangerous because when I can't decide what I'm gonna do here, it's mostly ending up with ugly things, but I keep my hopes up and just let it go. You'll, you will see if you like it or not. You can just change it or go for similar things or you can use different shades, color and do a like nicer collage, maybe another color on the background, another one, another one, like a little mountains from far. That could be, actually that could be a nice thing to go for, but I didn't think of it earlier. So. I'm just gonna stick with what I'm doing and try to do best out of it. Let's talk about the other sections I'm gonna put on this page. There will be creative ideas, that's where I'm gonna put my creative ideas about <laughs> things that I'm gonna create. It's mostly about the YouTube videos that I'm thinking to do or the new paintings or the new projects that I'm gonna start, whatever I think. And the thing that I don't wanna forget because when I have creative idea mostly it's gone by the day after. I forgot things so often, so it's good to write things down for me. And there will be mood tracker. It's useful because up to like my period, up to the work I do, up to the like how I spend my day, my mood is often up and down. And I would like to track it down to have a better picture, better general picture to uh, change maybe some habits in my life to balance it better. But it's hard to keep it track, so I'm mostly coming here every morning and writing it down like how I feel and how like how is my eating, how is my gym activity, how is my general mood. I'm just writing like a couple of sentences to track it down better. And on the right side, there will be of course habit trackers and I use, as you see, different uh, those nice piece of paper to keep the general theme going and to separate the sections from the boxes besides. I quite like it. And I'm not writing the dates inside, I'm just putting little dots and when I go and do these habits, I'm just gonna go and paint around these dots with a different color or just make these dots a bit like darker to, to see like overall how it goes. And my habits, five of them I'm following this month, First one is workout, of course, sport the day that I work out anyway, that I do like, I go to gym quite often now. I mean, like three times a week. I'm doing yoga and I'm doing tennis. So mostly like five, six days a week that if I'm not sick or if I'm not super busy, I'm trying to work out. And the second one is food that I actually have like super sweet tooth and it makes it harder to keep my eating habits healthy, but I wanna do a bit like healthy eating so I, follow the days that I'm actually marking the days that I eat clean. The next one is Maya, it's a 3D program that I'm using to do animation and I want to keep using it regularly to work on my personal styles. The next one is language. Last month I finally started to take Portuguese classes and I want to keep it going so I want to track it down the day I take classes or the day I actually practice at home by myself which is not a habit yet but I want it to become a habit. And then last one is self-care. These can be the days that I just do nothing and spend time by myself or the day that I go out with my friends or the day that I just did the things to, to do it, just to like have some fun, have some good time. So I think that needs to be on a habit tracking because sometimes I work a lot and I forget about myself and sometimes I just do nothing and I forget about work. So I wanted to balance both of them together. So that's why I put it here and I will see if it's helpful or not. And the other side, like other two sections on this page is the first one is targets. I'm using it for the last couple of months now. I'm putting like simple targets, like go for a bike ride, go for camping, do yoga, have a walk, like simple things, but the things that actually make me happy and make me feel relaxed. And those actually is a nice reminder that there should be things that to be done to feel better, nothing else. 
and whenever I have a free time or whenever I feel down, I'm just going to this section and checking that what are the things that I was planning to do this month. And the blow one is budget tracker. As I am gonna start some new business uh, investments this month, actually planning on, and then I'm gonna have some troubles as I mentioned before. I wanted to write down the incomes and outgoes to have an idea that how this month I made actually and the balance my my expenses maybe a bit more. We'll see if it's helpful or not. Let's take a look at the things that I'm doing on the bottom section. I'm still not happy with it. I try to add details on the back, details on the front. I try to add some light white dots on it to make it look like flowerish. And eventually I add some bushes with like very dark color. It's almost, it's very dark brown, almost black to add some depth. But to be honest, I really don't like it much, but you never know. Maybe some of you really love it. I can't like, I can't talk for all, but for me, it's not so pretty, but it's okay. It's not, I don't like hate it. I don't want to tear it apart, but yeah, I wouldn't do something similar again, for sure. That's what happened when I can't decide when I don't know what to do. I mostly try to do everything all together, which uh, turned into a bit messy in the end. Anyway, here I come to end of design of this page, which is my last page actually. We finish our November bullet journals. I hope you enjoy watching and listening. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think of this theme, what you want for the next month. And if you do the same, please feel free to send me your versions on Instagram. I'll see you guys very soon on the next month. Until that time, ciao!